All right, have and have not fans, let's have a little discussion here. This is kind of piggybacking off a live stream I did last night uh, after Greenleaf. Now, still no official word on the return date, okay? Have and have nots, I speculate September 1st. Maybe we'll get a trailer or a promo in the next couple of weeks, but again, nothing has been confirmed. Now, during the live stream, um, right after Greenleaf, you know, it kind of segue into other topics, and uh, <laughs> we talked about if loving you is wrong for a bit. To be honest, I'm kind of over it. I'm done. Like, the show isn't coming back anytime soon, or if at all, but I... <sighs> People kept asking me about, oh, what about what about the haves and the have-nots? Do you think Veronica should die in the series finale? I've said time and time again, death would just be too easy. Death would be just too easy for Veronica. And uh, before going any further in the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss out when I post content. And follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. And also, I'm sorry. I need to say this. Thank you. Again, we hit another flipping milestone. Okay, so within the past 48 hours, we hit 3,500 uploads. So, guys, I don't ever want to hear that you're bored on the channel. There's 3,500 videos on this channel, live streams included. So, there's plenty of content. Um, we hit the 25 million view mark. And we just hit, uh, technically we hit 128,000 subscribers, but the milestone didn't update in time, but it says 127,500. So thank you all for the support. All of you really do mean a lot to me because I know when I mention this in live streams, when it comes to the donations, it is not required. You watching helps me out. But of course, if you would like to donate to the channel, you can do so via Cash App, uh, PayPal, or you can join Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. But you watching this stuff and subscribing helps me. So, guys, thank you so much. But uh, more to the point, I know you want me to talk have and have not. I keep saying how nervous I am because I don't know when the show is ending. Guys, I don't know. I, re I swear to you, I do not know. I don't know if we're getting season nine. I know that they said we would be some of the cast I speak with do say season nine is supposed to happen but all i'm saying is i don't know because the own network has been doing a lot of funky business lately with all of their shows so i don't know i mean season eight of the haves and the have nots has been filmed just to kind of give you a fresh re recap season seven was supposed to be the final season for whatever reason own decided to renegotiate with tyler perry to extend it to at least season nine Season 7 had reshoots last year, and they filmed Season 8. So basically, what was supposed to be the back half of Season 7 got shifted to be the back half of Season 8. So this unseen Season 9, I have no idea where the story can go. So let me just say like this. The series finale, whenever that is, I don't know if it will be a Season 12 or 15, or hell, if they decide that Season 9 is the end. I don't think... Well, no, I know what I don't want is to have what if loving you is wrong did where you have all these like characters allegedly being killed. A ton of story points that were never resolved. And basically, as I said, with if loving you is wrong, it was it wasn't a bad episode, but it wasn't a good series finale. That's what I don't want. And I feel like, let's say if Jeffrey becomes Eddie, so to speak, where he goes around, oh, he kills Justin, oh, he kills Madison, and then to top it all off, he kills Veronica. And imagine Jeffrey killing Veronica, and then that's the final scene of the series. Like, we get no resolution on a ton of other storylines that aren't even mentioned in the final episode. But Veronica dies, like, or gets killed by Jeffrey, and then the screen goes black, and then that's the end of it. And, like, imagine that. Imagine... Jeffrey Harrington pulls an Esperanza, takes a gun, and shoots his mother, and then that's the end of the series. Now, would it be kind of different if, let's say, Veronica is attacking David and Jeffrey saves him? Okay, that, that's, uh, that's something different, but 
I would not be satisfied personally. I think that would be an awful way to send off the series. Unless, of course, you know, we get proper conclusion. But I, 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 I've I, had it. And I've said it time and time again. They have, Tyler Perry has pulled way too many Veronica fake out deaths at the end of seasons. I mean, just to name a couple off the top of my um, head. Not even necessarily season finales, but um, Jim tried to choke her. That was a funny scene. Jim tried to choke her. That was when he got exposed. Uh, what was the episode? Diane Winchester? Or was it the episode right after? Yeah, I think it was the episode right after that one. Diana Winchill. Basically, when he was announcing he was running for governor on TV, then he got exposed. Veronica, basically, without fully admitting it, confirmed that she was the reason why it got assaulted by Toxic in jail. Jim tried to choke her. So Jim tried to choke her. Uh, Jeffrey stabbed her. Jeffrey hit her with the defibrillator. Jeffrey flung her off the banister in the David's house. David tried to drown her. David backhanded her. Justin backhanded her. Melissa took the wheel, causing them to crash after Justin was attempting to run him off the road. Um, trying to think what else. Quincy tried to force himself on her twice. Um... You had all them thugs roll up in her house and we thought that she would be dealt with. Then Quita, of course, said that the hood is working against her and now she's trying to conspire to basically have Laura be the one that takes the fall for her and then she allegedly would fake her death. So we have dang near 10, if not over 10 occasions where it seemed like Veronica was going to bite the dust or finally get what's coming to her, but then she manages to weasel out of it. So I don't think the final scene of the series should be Veronica dying. I just feel like that would be a disservice because it's like um, comic books when somebody dies or it's like, no, they you know, they want to come back in the next issue or in the Dragon Ball series. Oh, we just wish them back. Or if they're dead, oh, they get to keep their body and training it stronger. So it's kind of like they're still alive, except they're in the other world. So I don't think the final scene should be Veronica dying unless it was something I was truly built up to. Like, for example, the puzzle pieces. What if Jim and David are able to successfully get the lawyers that are guarding the puzzle pieces and take care of them? Not necessarily killing them, but persuade them to get on their side instead of Veronica. That way, if Veronica does end up dying, then it wouldn't be a situation where, oh, what's the rep what's the repercussions? What's going to happen next? Well, it doesn't matter because she's dead and all of her contingency plans have been foiled. So I feel like the final scene should not be Veronica's death. Kind of like Candace. I mean, we have people who are now working to kill her, the attorney general, but they have proven to be idiots so far. So I doubt that's going to happen. But I just think that um, if nothing else, hell, a Veronica spinoff. Yeah, I said it. Like Veronica on the run. Kind of like Rochelle and Basie on Greenleaf. I wouldn't mind that. Maybe I should do a video about a Veronica spinoff. Let me know in the comments if you want that. But, uh, I, I mean, I feel like if written right, then I feel like Tyler Perry could do a great send-off for the haves and the have-nots. And I'm not trying to speak it into existence right now because, well, I just haven't given the show a lot of thought. I remember in a recent live stream, somebody mentioned the money, and I'm like, man, I cannot tell you the last time I even thought about the whole Jim Cryer money situation because I just remember how frustrated I was um, earlier this year because I was just so fed up with it. But let me just say this much. As long as Tyler Perry gives the haves and the have-nots a proper send-off, I'm going to be satisfied. Will I be sad that it ended? Of course. I mean, that show changed my life. No, I never got hit up by Tyler Perry. No, I, ever, I never went to the studio. But without the haves and the have-nots, I wouldn't be doing what I do now for a living. So all I got to say is, guys, how would you want the show to end? How, and when I say end, I'm not talking about the final episode. What do you think the final scene should be? Because I'll be extremely disappointed if we get a scene where it's like, if loving you is wrong, where Jeffrey takes a gun and then just kills Veronica and then that's it. Can you imagine how pissed off people would be? Like, don't get me wrong, loving you is wrong still has people pissed about the whole baby situation. Oh, Eddie had a bulletproof vest on or whatever. But to have Veronica, who is, well, without question, the most popular character on the show, to have her go out like that in the final scene and we get no epilogue, no conclusion. How would you feel about that? 
Now, that's all I got to say on this subject. So, as always, if you would like to donate, you should see the Cash App stuff pop up on screen. Uh, link to my PayPal is in the description, as well as to Patreon. And like I said, after uh, this week, because the Oval is getting ready for the final episode, Greenleaf is the only show I have left to review, as well as my Have and Have Nine If Loving You Is Wrong rewatches. I'll be doing more Patreon content, so I can't wait for that. But, um, yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts below, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.